Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Hard to Find 4 Red Flood as Avant-Garde France. Let us continue on from we last left off. So, the, uh, the, the Spanish have betrayed me. They, they said accelerationism, not in my Spain, and they had a little bit of a, uh, phalangist, uh, coup. Very rude of them to do after I was giving them so much military support. And now I've decided, you know what, Spain? You want to go kill each other, you go kill each other. I will, uh, stay out of it. Aside from that, um... So aside from that, we're getting our Gnostic Faith. Gives us 10% stability. We're then going to go swing immediately into Fast Life. Gives us another 20% stability. And then I haven't decided which of these uh, last ones we want. Definitely not you. Because the, the uh, land for construction speed doesn't really imp impress me too much. This really depends on if we want the 10% attack defense or the recovery rate. We'll have to kind of, we'll kind of again, we'll read both of these. See which one's more interesting. And then we'll uh, we'll take that one. It's not like there is a, uh, a f uh, ability that is like so good that it's like obviously we have to take it no matter what. Such as again with with fast life. We're, we've having accelerated our way past women. We can now speed towards truly futurist organic lifestyle. Two brave comrades partnered for life with children to be tended by their domestic surrogate. So, I mean, okay, so um, all of the soldiers are going to be marrying each other, and then we give them. A surrogate mother. It's a look. France is weird, right? Like it, 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 it's a it's a weird place. Okay. Now I'm kind of surprised we get to choose these because it seems like it's supposed to be like a direct line, um, down. Maybe that maybe that has an impact on you know faster, faster, faster. I'm not too sure. You know, depending on which one of these has like the majority. I don't think so. But yeah, it seems like this is, you know, these are all related, these are all related, and these are all related. I do think the Kazakh society has collapsed. Wait, no, no, no. They won, they, they beat the uh, Armenians. After 20 years of regency, the Russian crown rests upon uh, the princely head once more. Okay, so who is the uh, king? It is Andre. No last name, just Andre. And Ludendorff has died. Very, very, very sad for him. Not that it's a uh, big concern of ours. And we need to start, I think, again, when we get down to faster, it's time for us to start looking uh, at foreign policy a little bit. Eventually, we're going to get our way down to doing, like, these stuff with Islam, doing the legacy of the revolution, because there are some good stuff in here as well. But we need to start kind of thinking outwardly. By the way, uh, Fume, how are you doing? Okay, you still have... Uh, Many focuses to do. So that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, plus five days. So we're probably like eleven months, about a year, until uh, that is ready to go. Okay. So let's see which which of these we want. We have now found our, another avatar to represent Audra's holy energy in the hearts and faith of our people. Carry on. Accelerate to our new Jerusalem, the Fast Messiah, or. We've created the ideal conditions for a man to last in eternity. Comfortable in companionship, strong in character, and dutiful in procreation. Truly, a fine recipe for a new futurist warrior. So we replace uh, homoeroticism with the uh, new modern man. You know what? I think, the, I think the man should last for an eternity. Well, let's go for the... Um, we'll, we'll go for that one. We'll go for the recovery rate. The recovery rate is nice to have. Allows our units to fight a little bit more. Aborted, pushed in Prussia. We are getting a lot of trucks, huh? Also, we want to make sure reinforcements, upgrades, supply trucks are top priority on this. I'm surprised you train so quickly. I mean, I guess you're only 12 combat with. What if I make you into 18? Save that bad boy up. And you know what? We're actually going to cancel these ones. All those trucks can go back into uh, into regular armies. And are you guys on... Uh, are you on maximum rotation for now? I know you're going to need a lot more trucks, but... I'm sure you'll get that done in due time. So let's go for fuel gain per oil. Because we don't have a natural fuel source, right? We have three from somewhere. But I honestly, I don't know where that three is actually coming from. Maybe from Algeria? Like, is it coming from, like, the desert? 
I'm not. Does it actually? Wait, does it say in trade where the resources are? Oh, in in Normandy. Huh. Okay. I didn't know there was oil in Normandy. But there's not like a synthetic refinery here, right? No. Maybe maybe it's like a uh, offshore oil rig or something. Not a hundred percent too sure. We're gonna shrink your line down by one. I want to make sure we're not taking uh, supply issues for no good reason. If we're going to take uh, supply issues, I want it to be for a good reason. Okay. Be done seven days. Faster, faster, faster. Removes corporate management. We get terminal velocity. 10% speed. 5% research bonus. Very, very, very happy to have. For you, my good friend, let's go for even more speed. I think that... Uh, Fits with our eso, uh, ethos. And again, no, I don't. Don't show outdated. Replace our bombers. I do need more supplies. So let's not trade with you. Is there anyone the National Vanguard is front? Trade with them a little bit. For Tungsten, let's trade with... Again, we want to trade with allies. Or at least people who are not going to be hostile towards us. So for you, I guess let's trade with Argentina. And for the Chromium, let's trade with Yugoslavia. Excellent. The Hajj War. You guys are still fighting it out. Hejaz and Nejd are uh, in conflict with one another. And that all seems good. Is there anyone else whose acceleration is that I'm not uh, aware of? You two... Okay, it's so blindingly white. Answer is like, not really. It's kind of everyone who you would expect um, at this point. What about you? Is there anything we can do for you guys? I mean, we could theoretically send volunteers. 4 to 17... You know what? Sure. Let's send not those two troops from Africa, because I don't think they're very good. Let's send Xavier. Let's send you to the uh, National Vanguard front. Congratulations to you. And again, you guys are fighting it out amongst your, uh, yourselves, which is a bit of a shame, because I wish, I wish you weren't, but it is what it is. Oh, he has to choose a natural focus. Right. Faster, faster, faster. 56 days. A little expensive, but I mean... Sometimes in order to go fast, you gotta go a little slow at first, right? So that's just that's just what's happening here. Our volunteers will get there. I'm assuming my units are probably gonna be better than anything the Enlightened Liberation Front will have. Even if they have a super cool flag. We should uh we should win out. We don't have any synthetic refinery, so I don't think that's actually that good. Let's go for You know, let's go heavy tanks. Let's get our way up to the 1940 heavy tank. Build some of those big boys. And for you, my two infantry, we're going to station you here and you're going to move your way towards Hanoi. Nothing crazy. Pretty simple, I would say. But I'm hoping that uh, my units will be just substantially better than anything they could possibly throw at them. And we could just walk our way to Hanoi. Win the war. I don't know if they're going to join our faction, but it would be nice. So it looks like the Siberian People's Labor has uh, declared a war on Zyotil Russia. And I don't know if Ayn Rand will be able to uh, withstand that. And again, I don't want to be here. I just want to be on the rail line. Dictatorship in the Hanseatic city of Danzig. Did they leave Germany? No, oh, no, they're still socialist. They just had a little bit of a coup. Yeah, you know, it is what it is. Okay, wait, what are these islands? Oh, there's just a handful of islands down here. Okay. Wait, who's this? Wait, they just, they just own these islands? There's just a country that's just these islands? I mean, it's a little strange, but okay. Are my units not actually that good? I thought I would just win. <laughs> Maybe that was a bit of a, a little bit of hubris. But I thought I would literally just kind of walk over them. 171 defense is pretty good. 
And I think we did get a bit of an encirclement. But yeah, okay, you're a militia division. So I'm hoping a militia will die at least a little easier. Give you some support. Give you some support here. Republics have taken over in Syria. And 39 rifles sounds like a good choice for me. They have a tank division, huh? More powerful than I was originally expecting. And there we go. We are officially faster. We have so much stability as well. What's our um, population at right now? Reckless progress for... So we're at the... Uh, 5.5% while still being on volunteers only is really, really nice. Look at Powerful is 150. Is there anything in this in this that I care about right now? 20% war support actually would be quite nice. Presumably this would bypass. Okay. War against the world. It is, a it is a precedent to confess, but France still has a long road ahead to travel before it can really call itself a player on the world stage. Regardless of our current Herculean effort... Of course, we bear no ill will towards our developed uh, ally, or devoted allies, but a city within Italy does not constitute a great empire. Neither can an empire be built on a single island. Our empire is not formed by making our influence stretch from every area between Calais and Marseille. If France wants to be truly great, France needs allies. In this modern age, simply looking within our borders won't do. No, no, no. France shall lay siege to the world. In order to accomplish this, we must first show the globe that every word of our revolutionary rhetoric is true. A very real sword that uh, France will soon plunge into the chest, as well as through the guts of the name in victory. So we'll get that going. I wish you would not have as much uh, defense. That is uh, a little annoying. But again, we just want to be here. Do not stretch your lines out any further for no reason. Also make sure that you are on... Uh, Max supply. I, I mean, your supply line is pretty far away. I am willing to admit that. And again, I don't want these doctrines. I want to save up for uh, mass assault. We can ignore you. Let's go down to more breakthrough. And what about our pony planes we even reserve? Eh, a decent amount. But I'll worry about you once we get closer to uh, actually being at war. Before I deploy those planes. Back in France. 100 political power. Okay, so we can finally get another uh, advisor here. Backstabber is awful. Political power gain plus 0.04. You're not great. You're. I mean, really, it's just silent lawyer. Henry of Barbe is really the only choice there. And for military intelligence, 0.3 is kind of crazy. Yeah. We're going to go for uh, Paul Marion. 0.3 is like a ton. And look at that. We're actually getting 1.5. Uh, we're actually getting decent um, political power gain. I didn't think it would happen, but, you know, here we are. So we have got in our computing machine. Uh, I don't think we need the radar right now. Let's go for 39 artillery. You know what we should also do? We should get some radar stations. I should be clicking the minimap more often. Go one, two, just along the entirety of the border here. And you know what? I want these at top priority. They're pretty cheap, right? 3375. Not bad at all. Reliability, we'll take you. I mean, we have supplies here. We do not have supplies here. Which is a issue. We can re we can reinforce when we're uh, a little bit further south. You know, let's actually have a fallback line. Let's get both of you guys uh down for now. Did not, did, not even, did not even click on France. How embarrassing. Oh, our, we got our uh, railway gun. Excellent. Let's send you to... Uh, gotta click on this. Send you to Blue Army for now. Hell yeah. I love some railroad guns. Very, very happy to see them. Yes, yeah, so we can sit back here. Get our strength and organization done. 
you have been bypassed, which is not a surprise. And this is for Ankara National Government, the Emirate of Turkestan. I mean, I love how that's literally both sides. So no matter what, we always come out on top. What about eight revolutionaries? Fume, more opinion about the alliance. We get some cores on... Uh... Oh no, this gives Scotland some cores. Interesting. Non-aggression pact with Austria. Non-aggression pact with Poland. Friends beyond the Rhine. I think we do want to kind of make our way down there quickly. So yeah, let's aid revolutionaries. What do the Krauss and Anglos have in common? They had never been our friends. And only our former alliances of convenience. The Great War is one that showed just how insidious and backstabbing both powers can be. Why did we lose? Just about everything. We gained nothing from efforts but pain and misery. No longer. We will not put up with this. If both of our worst neighbors despise us and make every effort to destroy France, then we must make every effort not just to counter them, but to seek their end. We must uh, foment rebellion, turn brother against brother, tear their families apart, and make a hundred revolutions and civil wars squabble over uh, every square centimeter. Rip these jackals and hounds from one another and cast them to the winds. Let them to descend to Tartarus and howl in pain alongside Judas as the flesh is torn from their bodies. My god. Okay, let's aid revolutionaries. Let's get that going. Uh, and then again, for you, my good friends. It's not, it's not, it's not looking great. I will, I will say that. Okay, for these tanks, I'm putting you on the border with Germany. Germany is 33 to 147. We don't have that much information. Oh, we have a lot of symbols, huh? What symbol best rep, uh, represents, oh god, we have a lot of symbols. What symbol best represents the future? Uh, so far, I'm not really seeing anything too great. The bow with the fork is pretty good. I will give them that. Some hands. The hands have... I mean, that's also pretty good. The crab is alright. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Let's, let's, let's do the hands. The hands of the eyes. Let's create that agency. We've done it in 30 days. And that's so that we're able to spy on the Germans. See what the heck they're actually up to. Because I, I don't know about you. I can't throw the Germans as far as I can throw them. So, I think this makes sense for us. 101. Who do we want for foreign minister? Trade opinion modifier minus 3%. You're all kind of bad. <laughs> Maybe just by war time minus 10%. Can I even just by a war? I mean, I can. 85 days. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? Look at power gain. The construction speed's fine. You know what? Sure, we'll take the, we'll take the sign of the lawyer. We get the construction speed, the little bonus. We'll take a little bit of the political power gain as well. I'm not going to say no. At least not right now. Maybe, maybe I'll say no in the future. Maybe we want to switch him out for uh, someone who's good at decryption when we're actually at war. But we'll cross that bridge when we actually get to it. Is there anything we do with you, Infrey Expert? Eh. I don't think it seems incredibly important right now. But you know what? Give me a organization. Fortress Buster is more attack on fortifications. Which can be good, depending on the context. Unifying forces crushed. As our great sandstorm distracted all of our enemies and they began killing each other, the Turek people and their freedom came out on top. And now we are guaranteed to live in freedom for the rest of the century. Um, State of Tomorrow becomes a puppet of us. The... Is that... um? Who the hell is the State of Tomorrow? State of Tomorrow. Oh, they're like an ally in uh, in in Africa. Okay. Oh yeah. They actually have a focus. That's kind of crazy. Wait, do do all of them have focuses? No. So I'm kind of surprised that you do. I mean, I'm I'm happy to have them. You know, I'm not I'm not gonna say no. I'm just a little uh, just a little surprised is all. 
Hey, one, one more ally for the books. One more ally for the books. So what else do we want? We've aided our revolutionaries. I think we want to make our way down to friends beyond the ranks. I think Germany is going to be our biggest threat. So let's get our new friends in Austria. Austria nearly fell to the communist. Nearly. Um, it remains vulnerable to the machinations of the Red Menace over their borders, who dream of a red flag flying over Vienna. A new political order has come into power there, and we are yet unsure of how aligned they are with our goals. That Austria has been a uh, long been an enemy of France, or that the current Austrian ruler is uh, a little different from uh, who we're uh, used to dealing with. It does not change the fundamentals. We must establish a strong and friendly relations with them. To create an anti-communist bulwark helmed by the man, Pilo or uh, otherwise, uh, that we can trust to keep the red of the government. That above all is the number one priority. For when the time comes, Germany will inevitably interfere with Austria sooner or later. And presumably this would not happen if uh, Austria did have their coup. But, you know, if we can be friendly with the Austrians, it seems good. If we can be friendly with Poland, that seems good. And, um, friends beyond the Rhine. I don't think that, like, the Dutch... Too, too liberal for us, unfortunately. But I will say, at least for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. If you enjoyed it, thumbs up. Now, enjoy, click thumbs down. If you want to see more, subscribe, and goodbye.